All right, next up on Sal's show, well, simply, they call him Bruce. That's me, everybody. Come hang out with me every Tuesday at 7 p.m. at the Castle Bar in Oak Square, Brighton. We'll laugh and tell jokes and get real drunk. All right? You can't get enough of them. We can't get rid of them. So why don't you watch Bruce in action? <laughs> this is Bruce Liner. You can reach me on Facebook, Bruce, L-E-R, N-E-R. And I'm from Brighton. I'm doing Sal's show. Thank you for watching. Anybody here ever uh, watch pornographic movies? Uh, I have. But I don't really see the point, you know, because... What if, what, if, what if you watch it? Is it to clear your mind? You know, to find balance? You're like, yeah, I had a hard day. I need to recenter myself by watching a black man have sex with three 18-year-old girls. It doesn't really, doesn't really do it, you know. It doesn't really help you find that calm. I mean, it's not very nice either. I mean, it's getting more and more violent. Like, this, new, this website that I stumbled across while I was searching for frozen yogurt, I typed in swirlies. And uh, what I got was a pornographic website where... Uh, after the man and woman uh, make love, I don't know if you'd call it that, but after they do their thing, the man dunks the woman's head in the toilet. Now I'm saying to myself, first of all, who is watching this stuff, you know, in their right mind? I mean, it's disgusting, right? Number two, you're not going to get a girlfriend like that. I mean, what are you going to say? Come on over, honey. I'll make some, some dinner. We'll just relax, put on some nice music, dim the lights a little bit, make love. And then I'll dunk your head in the toilet. Sounds good. See you at six. Oh, you're not coming? Why not? It's it's not it's not very realistic, man. And uh, it's also I mean it's not it's kind of let's be real it's kind of gay too. I mean I, I know everyone's seen a, a porno movie where where the woman's like, yeah you wanna you wanna see me do this? You wanna see me do this? You wanna see me do this with with two penises? How about three penises? You know people, you know you're there, you're like, yeah, two, three, four, five, six. Like doing multiplication and stuff. You know, it's, I mean, if it's one and it's the right color, you can at least pretend it's yours. If it's more than that, it's, it, it gets weird, you know what I mean? And it's just, uh, it's a little, it's a little bit gay, you know? But uh, in my relationship, I'm, I'm kind of gay too, you know, like in my relationship, like I'm the woman. I'm like, uh... Baby, you just, uh, you need to open up to me and tell me your feelings. And she's like, shut up, I'm watching porn. It's bad, you know, wife beating is a big problem in my house. Seriously, my wife beats, beats me up. You know, and uh, a, lot of, a lot of guys complain about their wife. They say, hey, my wife, uh, she doesn't do anything around the house. She's lazy, doesn't cook or clean or anything. It's different at my house, all right? In my house, the laundry's done. Food is taken care of. Kids are in bed. Dogs are walked. And even though I do all that, she still won't have sex with me. It's kind of rough. We uh, we used to watch this. We used to watch this uh this movie Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. I was mad about this one too. Because, because it's um. It's not realistic. I mean, number one, he's giving the the kids a free factory. You know, in reality, he'd be making the kid work in the factory. Number two, he said he's giving the kids candy. What he's really doing is giving the kids drugs. Because when's the last time you ate some candy and you started floating around, turning into a giant blueberry, you know, going from one place to another? The only candy I ever ate was uh, was, was called LSD that made me do that. I did get it from a guy named Willy Wonka, though. But the main thing is, look, it's the Oompa Loompas. That's, ra that's a racist movie. You know, they call it the Guatemalans Oompa Loompas. You know, I've been to, have you been to a factory? It's Guatemalans, you know, and it's not nice, calm, Oompa Loompas. Well, they do sing some songs like, Oompa Loompa, Oompa Dee Doo, I've got a little secret for you. We're not supposed to be in the country, S.A. Run! You know, what if that, what if it was a real situation and the sheriff came and he knocked on the door, he said, Open up, Wonka. We know you got them Oompa Loompas in there. And he snatched up one of them. He said, get over here, boy. Let me see a passport. Let me see this here. It says your name, Senor Oompa Loompa. Okay, boy. <laughs> hey, this thing's made of chocolate. That's it. You're under arrest. Wonka, we're shutting down production. So they have to move the move the, the factory to India. Outsource. So it's like, hello. My name is Mr. Oompa Loompa. How may I help you today? And they sing a different song, though. It's like, Oompa Loompa. 
jumpa di dulu. So it's a multicultural show, everybody. This is what this is who I am. You might say uh, I'm 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 not culturally sensitive or something like that. Some people say that to me, and I say, listen, shut up, all right? Don't give me a hard time. I woke up this morning, opened the Venetian blinds, I gave my girlfriend a French kiss, we ate some Indian food, went outside, smoked some Thai sticks. You get the point. You know what I mean? We went to to the American Grill. You know what I mean? Is I did some some yoga, no problem. Multicultural. I'm Jewish though, you know, it's it's cool being Jewish. Once you go Jewish, you never pay full price. And they say that Jewish people are intellectually gifted. Intellectual, you know. So you know what they say about that? They say, once you go Jewish, you never go black. But I'm not I mean, every Jewish every Jewish person has a personal accountant, lawyer, psychologist and bodyguard. We call her mom. And uh when we were Jewish, we used to go to Hebrew school, and we used to insult each other. But we didn't have like the regular insults. We we'd have like Jewish insults. We'd be like, "Hey, the only kind of balls your dad's got is matzo balls, and your mom eats them for Passover." We go, oh, "Yeah, well, your mom's so Jewish. If you cut her, she bleeds man of Like, why don't you shut up, or I'll pass over this knife over your face." And they say, "Well, Hanukkah." Hanukkah? I don't even know her. This is cool being Jewish, you know. Mm. We own the media and everything. You know, the government. It's pretty cool. I want to come up with a new soda. It's called Mountain Jew. Yeah, it's it's pretty cool. It's made of real Lebanese blood. And and you just you pop it open, the can explodes in your face. Then like uh, Zionist settlers come and steal your land and kill your children. Uh, I think it should sell well. I don't know. Maybe a good marketing campaign. It's not bad. The uh, thing I really want to talk about is uh, my dog. Because when we were a kid, when we were kids, my, my, I had the smartest dog in the whole world. He was so smart, he sued the city of Boston. A class action lawsuit for the no dogs allowed signs. He won the case, but he spent all his money drinking toilet bowl water in bars with bitches. Okay, folks, I'm out of here. My name is Bruce Lerner. Look me up on Facebook, and you're watching South Show. Well, that's all the time we have for this show. Please tune in next time. Until then, I'm Priya Kumar, and you're watching South Show. Well, that's it for this episode of South Show. Hope you've enjoyed it. Join us next time on South Show. I'm Chris Timoney. This is Bruce Lerner, and this this has been South Show. Now you can go watch National Geographic documentary on weasels. See you next time. Hi, I'm Steve Duffy, one of the many hosts of Sal Show. And uh, I hope you're enjoying your time watching us as much as we are enjoying hosting the show. Uh, I'm Jeremy O'Neill. <laughs>